Hello everyone, and welcome to Weird Strict Dad. I suppose I have a Weird Strict Dad. And I guess we'll find out what happens. Right, go inside the house. Clean trashes inside the house. So it's 6 p.m. I don't know what to expect of this game, like most of the things I play. I guess that's my father. Why is there a generator inside the house? Good question. Say hi to Papa. Thirty out of one hundred. Oh, crouch. Trash. Open the door. Not in the bathroom. There are cameras all over this house. Jump scare anyone one time. Turn on lights, turn off the lights. Alright. I think this is the uh, final trash can here. Or the trash bag. 7 p.m. Prepare instant noodles for dinner with Dad in the kitchen. Dad's gone. Dad's noodles, or Dad's noodle, your noodles. here. Grab raw noodles. Cook noodles. I'm not liking the, the ambience here, but here you go, Dad. Eat some noodles for me. Kind of look more like fries to me, but sure. Noodles, why not? Alright. Eat. Sit on the chair and have dinner with Dad. Refill generator. That hasn't... That hasn't said much. He's not really the talkative kind of guy, is he? Oh! Hear what Dad say. Who's knocking outside? Dad will go outside to check. You guys can watch TV while I'm outside. You guys. Remember, make sure you're already asleep at 10 p.m. Or dad will be angry. Okay. Right, so dad's gonna go outside. So go to your bedroom upstairs. I mean, I wanted to watch some TV, but sure. I guess I'll go to my bedroom. I assume this is it. Turn on the air conditioner. Turn off all the lights in the house. Press button. Squ Press button triangle. Oh, right. It's every single button to crouch. Alright. I don't know what it is for a flashlight, though. I oh, it's F. Alright. Turn off all the lights. Locked. Alright. All the lights are off. I wonder why father is being so weird. Let's go check out the, ki uh, the not the kitchen, the bathroom. All right. And now the last one. I'm liking these paintings. <laughs> I'm like this is some good paintings. All right. Turn on TV downstairs using the remote on the table. Ah, oh, but Dad said to go to sleep though. Turn the TV. 
hear the news. This message is from the FBI. Beware of a mysterious man who haunts front porches. His ear presence luring unsuspecting victims into a malevolent possession. The FBI is deeply concerned about this unexplained phenomenon. If you encounter the man on the porch, avoid eye contact, retreat indoors, and call law enforcement immediately. Spread this warning to protect your loved ones and help unravel this ominous mister. FBI, your safety matters. Right. So, from what I can understand, my father got... Got. Open the front door and check on your dad. Alright. Go to upstairs bedroom and check on CCTV on the computer to check on your dad. No. There's the CCTV. What's this here? Uh oh. Alright. Go to sleep. Survive the night. There are only four gas cans remaining. Use the CCTV wisely to save electricity. Sleep when dad is coming. Alright. Crouch is safer than walking. Sleep to feel energy. Eat to be full. Drink to be hydrated. Alright. Seems simple enough. Let's check the cameras then. Oh, right, so he's sleeping. All right. Right, so I'm probably going to have to quickly go fill up my everything. I'm sleeping now. <coughs> Drinking glass, grab noodles, quickly cook the noodles. We don't have time to eat them, so let's go back. They'd save. I can jump? Oh, but I can't jump over that. Right. I have noodles. But I guess I have to eat them downstairs, huh? Oh! Oh, he's coming! Slowly starving to death. He's sleeping again. I gotta go eat, refill the gas. Eat first. I was being too greedy. Let's try it again. Alright. <clears throat> We're back. Try two. So, um, this time I decided to be a little smarter. 
I made sure to grab some cooked noodles, a glass of water, and a gas can in advance. So if we need any of this, I can just go and just grab it. Just use them, you know? So crouch walking is safer. Does that mean that walking triggers him to check on you? Let's try that out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna check and see if he's still sleeping. So crouch walking is better. Okay. Right, so, I did even more preparation this time, for the third try. I filled up the table downstairs entirely with cooked noodles. I also saw that there was a, a, a water thing upstairs, a water dispenser, so we are practically good. We wait until the, here, you see all the noodles. We wait for him to wake up, check on us, then we go downstairs, grab a bite, Drink some water, and then we go back. That's what the strategy is gonna be. Let's wait. Oh, but watching also uses energy, so. I'll just wait right here next to the bed. I hope the game just doesn't end when your hunger reaches zero instantly. Like you just collapse. Still sleeping. Surely it's gonna wake up soon, right? Let's go back to sleep. My hunger is getting pretty low. There we go. It's checking. It's gonna go back. Moment the timer ends, I'm running down. Grab a bite, get some food. Generator's doing pretty bad. Gonna refill that. Refill, grab a gas can. Put noodle, eat. I think I have enough time to cook more. Right. Cook noodle. Done. Go upstairs. Fill up the water. Take a sip. Uh oh. Oof. <laughs> Repeat the cycle. Go downstairs. Eat. Put noodle. Grab noodle. Cook noodle. Boom. Go back up. Drink water. Pour water. Back to bed. We are topped up. Check on the generator. It's too scary. 
Let's go lay down. I can see the generator in the corner of my eye. <laughs> 45. Right. That's plenty. Right. We need that to show up, so... Let's make some noise. What's he doing? Going back. Grab some water. He's still sleeping. This is really bad. I need to eat soon, but he's not coming to check. Wake up. Gotta eat. There we go. Come on, check up. Go back. Oh, I'm starving. I think that was a pretty good third attempt. Let's try that again. Okay, try number seven. So, I didn't realize this, but you can run. Uh, I don't know if that wakes him up. I also don't really know what crouching does still. I want to test something now too. I'm going to wait for him to go back. I'm going to jump jump out and then go back. Checking. Right, so there is a cooldown. It's good to know. Cuz now I can keep him there. Now I'm going to go to bed. Going to grab a cup of water. Going to go down. A gas can. Eat noodle. Ah, I don't trust crouching. I don't think crouching does anything. Nothing useful anyway. Back to our house. Might as well check the cams. There's not even a point in the cams, to be honest. It announces when he's coming, so... I'm gonna stand right here. Oh! What is he doing there? Just shut the door. Okay. Surely he'll come and attack soon, right? Surely. Surely. <laughs> What's he doing there? I need him to uh, show up soon because I'm going to starve. helps right, let's go to bed then I 
need some energy. He seems to be very docile. I have no idea why. But he has not decided to attack me once. Well, in the start, where I abused the mechanics, but... Ever since then, he has decided not to show up. I can hear him walking around, though. Yeah, he's... What is he doing there? Why is he walking around the house like that? So he's sleeping now. Let me grab a, a glass of water. I need some food soon, so I hope he shows up. I'll be honest, I don't think I got it in me to do this. Frankly said, every single time I've done this, he just wakes up randomly. I don't know what determines that. I have to spend 10 minutes trying to get to the point again where I can try it again, only to lose. I'm just going to wait it out, see what happens at 5 a.m. Okay, well, it turned day. I assume I have to do something. Um, I'm not gonna do it, though. Let's eat, shall we? What happened to you last night, Dad? Someone possessed my soul, but now I'm feeling a bit better. Really, Dad? Yes, kiddo. Now let's pray before we eat. Ah. Uh, I have a feeling it's supposed to be a jump scare where his face turns evil. That was chapter one of Weird Strict Dad. I think, honestly, that this game is kind of bad. I mean, it seems like when Dad wakes up is pretty random. Either that or I just simply don't understand it. I don't get what the point of crouching is. I feel like crouching is very useless. Um, I don't even know why I only just at the end realized that there is a running feature uh, with stamina and all that kind of stuff. Sure, I don't know. On top of that, I don't understand why we need to refill a generator for oxygen inside of a house above ground. I mean, I'd understand something like, I don't know, having to fill the generator for a, a music box or refilling the batteries for a music box that keeps, you know, the dad asleep for longer or something. But oxygen in like a house? What is the point of cameras? I don't know. Um, you can go through the entire game without looking at the cameras once. I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot of things that this game could improve on. Oh, and before I forget as well, uh, you have to go through the entire starting tutorial section that precedes the actual gameplay part before you actually get to play the game. Uh, I would have retried this a couple more times if I didn't have to spend another 10 minutes every single time trying to get to the point where I can actually begin. Definitely try out the game. It's fun. I may do chapter 2 at some point. Skill issue, I guess. Well, if you liked the video, if you like what you saw, or if you like my voice, make sure to drop a like, share this video with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I do other videos like these, where I cover weird and wacky games, and I also do some projects on the side as well, such as guide videos, or I try to do animations too sometimes, very rarely, but, you know, it's pretty fun. Thank you to my one member right now for supporting this channel. You can support this channel too. I have memberships. Do it. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video.